My welcome as well. Uh, my name is Neil Chu Hong. I'm the director of the Software Sustainability Institute. Um, and it's my great pleasure to welcome you to the collaborations workshop and to Leeds as well. I'm actually really glad that um, Mark Birkin was the person giving the introduction because I've had quite a long connection with Leeds. I used to work on a project that Mark led um, way back in the, in the sort of early days of uh, what was to become the genesis of what the Software Sustainability Institute was. So um, it's really great to be back in Leeds for me and I'm looking forward to connecting with some of the people I met uh, during that project and meeting all of the new people I see around the room. So um, welcome. Um, the Collaborations Workshop has had quite a long history now. Um, we started this off as a way of getting together a number of different projects that were all developing software in different ways uh, and asking them to share their practices. So trying to work out where they might learn from each other uh, and also where they might take things forward together. And it grew on from there. First we started with just the developers, then we brought in a larger mix of researchers, um, and then finally we're now where we are, where we have, um, we have researchers in the room, software developers, research software engineers, um, funders, publishers, people from across all of the different, um, what we would call research spectrum. So our aim is really to mix you all up a little bit, make sure that you meet new people, um, make sure that you get your ideas out there, and importantly to understand how you can take things forward by making new connections with the people in the room. Um, so one of the things I'd like to kind of stress is um, why is it we try and do this? Uh, so the Software Sustainability Institute is funded by a number of the national research funders to do something which I think has always been in the back of everyone's mind but it's like doing documentation for code. It's the sort of thing that no one really wants to do, apart from some people. Who likes documenting code? Oh, excellent. <laughs> Let's talk about code documentation. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we want to try and do this uh, to, to help everyone who's involved in research software. Um, and as part of that, we have an objective to bring the right people together to solve the difficult problems. So you are the right people. Now what we have to decide is what are the difficult problems that we want to solve. Um, and one way we try and do this is by making sure that we can support you as a community um, to change practices and culture. So as it says on the back of the t-shirt, um, better software, better research. Uh, what we would like to do is change everyone's lives to be, eh, let, let's go for 5% better. I normally say 1% better, but let's go for 5% better. Um, and what we need to know, and the reason why we bring you all together, is what is it that we need to change? So what are the pressing challenges that you see today? Uh, and also, how could we start going towards this? Because what we think is that actually you can make a big difference just by finding partners and allies. So. This is an unconference. Who's been to an unconference before? Okay. For those of you who haven't been to an unconference before, find those people who've stuck their hands up and talk to them about how you can get the best out of an unconference. These are my tips, but they're going to have their own tips. So speak, speak to people who have done this before. Um, the three things I'd like to emphasize are this isn't just about hearing people talk and you kind of like passively taking it all in, although this is exactly what I'm expecting you to do as I'm talking just now. Um, so you're a participant in this. You're not just an audience. Um, share your knowledge um, rather than just your views. So make sure that uh, after having come here, uh, you've learned something from other people and other people have learned something from you. Um, don't go over the same things again and again. So. Uh, Try not to repeat old debates. Uh, if someone sort of says, well, you know, have you read this already? Don't kind of go like, no, I've not read that already. I'm sure it's got something to do with it, but I'm just going to talk about this anyway. Take the time to take a look at it and then bring new perspectives on it. So, so bring your personal perspective onto a particular issue. Um, and the last thing is we talk a lot about changing culture uh, because we think this is the best way of changing practice. And it all starts here. So what we do here in the Collaborations Workshop 
is essentially a safe space to explore ideas that we might find crazy uh, and see whether or not we can do something with them that takes into the wider world of the people who might be a little bit more of haters. So, you know, try and see what will work here and then work out how you might take it forward. And this happens. So, um, two things that have come out, uh, two examples of things that have come out of Collaborations Workshop. Um, so, who's heard of the term research software engineer now? Excellent. So, uh, James and Simon, um, take a bow on that one. They um, were in a discussion session at Collaborations Workshop um, 2012, uh, where this was being discussed as as a sort of issue. There wasn't enough recognition for people who were doing this kind of role. Uh, there were lots of people who participated in the session, but um, James and Simon were the people who actually put in the hard graft afterwards, along with a few others who were there who are not here today, um, Ilyan Todorov um, and uh, Mark Stilwell, I think. Um, so this is an example of something where a good idea with a bit of effort afterwards can be taken forward into something which gains uh, widespread recognition. Um, so 2012, we had this discussion. Um, 2015, we had the launch of the first RSE fellowships and network um, funded by EPSRC. 2016, we had the first RSE conference. So in less than five years, there has been a significant change that has permeated through the entirety of the research community in the UK. There's still a lot of work to be done, but you can change things in your lifetime. Um, you don't have to wait and pass things on to your children because that would be a very different type of conference. Um, the other thing I'd like to highlight is Recipi. So Recipi is an example of something that came out of a hack day. Um, we have the Wednesday Hackathon um, uh, and we've had a lot of great ideas generated at this. Um, one of the ideas that came up was why couldn't we have a really easy way of understanding how to record the provenance of experiments? Um, so out of that idea came something called Recipi, led by Robin Wilson, um, and that's gone on to have a success on its own as a tool that's being used in different communities. Um, and uh, I think it won the best demo as well at EuroSciPy a couple of years ago. So this is, this is something, an example of where you get enough people together, you can explore ideas. So I encourage you, both through the discussion idea sessions and also through uh, the hackathon to work with other people to take ideas forward and have fun whilst doing it. Um, I'd like to uh, take a quick um, minute to, to say another thank you to our sponsors. Um, thank you very much to Kenji and Microsoft for sponsoring um, the workshop and providing the uh, lovely Internet of Things kits, which we're hoping that you'll have a chance to play with as part of the hackathon and beyond. Um, thank you very much to uh, Martin and Ark at Leeds for hosting us um, and providing a lot of the local support. Um, thank you to JISC for sponsoring our hackathon and also the student bursaries. And thank you to our other sponsors, um, Packet, Cores, um, and I'm going to GitLab as well. I got it written in my hand, I didn't forget. Um, for providing different uh, things towards um, your kind of like participation in this conference. So, um, that's all I want to say. Um, I'll leave you with this final message. Um, you're all starting to do these introductions. I can hear every time someone does an introduction, I realize that my phone is buzzing. <laughs> so, this is really good. Um, decide what you want to achieve from the collaborations workshop and then find the people that can help you do it. So look around you, um, and most of all, enjoy Collaborations Workshop 17. Thank you very much.